Hi everyone! God. Hello! Hi, I can see three people there. You've got to let me know when you can hear me because I know it takes a few minutes for you to be able to actually hear the sound. So I'm going to wait for some thumbs up. Hi, Nikki. Um, let me know when you can hear me. Can you hear me? Give me some thumbs up or some hearts if you can hear me. And leave me a message. Nikki, can you say if you can hear my voice, please? And then I'll start waffling on. <laughs> Hi, hi Charlene, hi Emma, hi Lauren. How's the baby, Lauren? Tell me. Mummy of two now. It's a bit of a game changer, isn't it? But it's all good fun. Yay, hi Lauren. Right, okay, so. Um, yesterday I decided that I need to go to Boots and I need to buy myself some makeup because I can... Go and use my kit, but as most of you have seen, it's an enormous suitcase full of makeup. Hi, Nikki. Um, so it's a bit of a nightmare. Every single time I want to do my makeup, I have to get this massive suitcase out and sit there. And I've got, um, I've got everything there, but it's I can't just you know in the morning think, oh, I'm just going to put a little bit of makeup on and five minutes and I'm gone. It's a big, you know, dramatic thing that I have to get all this makeup out of my. Um, suitcase so I thought right I'm gonna actually have some makeup that will fit into this makeup bag and this is gonna be my own makeup that I'm not gonna put in my kit so I'm gonna try and up my game a bit and stop walking around every single day looking like this because it's just not like I'm not young anymore I can't get away with it anymore I look rough all of the time um, and I feel like I need to put a day makeup on every day and I've been really slacking. As most of you know, I don't wear a scrap of makeup. I barely even put mascara on during the day. So I thought I really need to up my game and actually do a nice natural day makeup just every morning, get up, sort the kids out, have a shower, do my hair, put my makeup on like most of you guys all manage to do but for some reason I can't manage it to do it. Oh thank you Katie, that's very sweet of you. Um, oh Lauren, he's got reflux. Bruno had reflux, it's really horrible isn't it? Um, he ended up on uh, ranitidine and domperidone I think it's called and Gaviscon powders. He had the whole work so he had it till he was about nine or ten months old and then um, we managed like he managed to sort of grow out of it I think when they go on solid foods as well that can help um, but yeah so I'm just gonna I've just put a normal moisturizer on and I've put some lip balm on this lip balm I absolutely love it's by Zoe Medical it's lip rebuild advanced therapy lip treatment um, I just absolutely love it. it really like plumps up your lips and everything and then yesterday I went into Mac and I said to them that I wanted a foundation. Now most of you know that I use the full coverage foundation, it's what I love, I use it on most of my brides. But I wanted something just like a nice liquid that I could just put on quickly in the morning. So we had a little discussion about it and uh, me and the girl decided that Studio Sculpt was going to be the one that I was going to try. And I've got an NC42. Um, and I'm going to use a Real Techniques sponge with it. Oh, thank you Charlene. <laughs> you don't have dark rings. Look at me. Look at my freckles. Look at my dark circles. Like I've got the straightest eyelashes, so I look like I've got no eyes at all. Like we've all. Look, I'm a girl. I've got so many hang-ups. Like all of you, we're a nightmare, aren't we? So I'm gonna just put. Oh, look, I haven't even taken the thing off it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And she said to me that this was going to be, so this is the studio sculpt for all of you that are just joining. Hi Laura, hi Carrie. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And this is the first time I've used this, so I don't know how this is going to be. She did try the colour on me. Hi Grace! My, my sparkly bride from the other weekend. Oh, all of you will know Grace. She had that beautiful flower crown on. She looked incredible. Um, yeah, so this Studio Sculpt has got an SPF 15 in it, 
which is good. And she said it was going to be a medium coverage, but it was a buildable coverage as well. And if you ever want to make your foundation um, sort of sheerer, you can just add your normal moisturiser, sort of do uh, one part foundation, one part moisturiser, and then that will turn it more into like a tinted moisturiser. And also, if you're, say you're um, going on holiday or in the summertime, and your skin's gone a bit tanned and your normal foundation is look, making you look like you're wearing a mask, it's too light. Add, um, you can buy these liquid bronzers or bronzing illuminators. If you add a little bit of that into your foundation with a little touch of moisturiser, mix it all together, it will give you that tanned glowy look, which is what you need if, you've, uh, if you're on holiday and you've got a little bit of glow to your skin. So with a Real Technique sponge, Studio Sculpt MAC foundation, I'm using NC42, I'm going to come closer and see how this goes on. Hi Ellen! So most of the mums at um, the school that Bo and Bruno go to all wear makeup, like I'm just amazed, they all have makeup on in the morning. Um, I just wish that I was that organised, but I'm just not. Uh, so this is me, I've, I've uh, already dropped the kids off, so this is a bit of a cheats way of doing it because I'm actually sitting here on my own, I've got a little bit of time before I do my emails and then I go out and um, do a hair and makeup. So I thought, oh well, I'd better do a little makeup tutorial. This is going on nice, I'm sort of, I'm wiping it but I'm also patting it. Because if you see, when you wipe it, you get, you do get some coverage but it's a lot, lot sheerer, whereas when you pat, you can build it up. Do you see the difference? That's why I like to pat foundation in. And this is why you absolutely shouldn't be applying your liquid foundation with your fingers. Because you it will go streaky. You've got oils in your fingers that will mix with the foundation. Um, so definitely use a sponge or a brush, whichever you uh, prefer. So always take it onto your ears and down your neck a bit. Now this is a bit new for me. I don't usually wear a liquid foundation. As you know, I like to wear my um, full coverage, which is a pressed cream foundation. And I find it goes on really, really well. But I do realize that for you guys, it's a really hard um, product to get hold of because it's only a, um, a pro product. So you have to um, either buy it online or you have to go to the Carnaby Street store. Whereas this product that I'm using, the Studio Sculpt by MAC, you can buy in the store. Like, I bought it in um, House of Fraser yesterday. Now, anyone with, like, olivey skin knows, you tend to be, like, six different colours on your face. And the girl, actually, I was quite shocked. She made the mistake of wanting to put a really, really pale foundation on me yesterday. She said that I was going to be NC37. And I just looked at her and went, I'm I'm not that colour but I said you're looking at my face I said but look at my neck and look at like the top of my forehead I'm a lot darker um Emma Duffy can you use a brush I always look like I've used a roller yes you absolutely can use a brush there's some great brushes I actually quite like this one this is Real Techniques it's the stippling brush that's quite a nice one for like blending it in so you get a nice little flawless finish so I like this because you can still see my skin, you can see my freckles, but it has given me a nice bit of coverage. But if you saw when that was going on, my I've got a, like a darker bit on my forehead. If I was to do that colour all over my face, it would be too dark. Oh, Katie, is that your favourite brush? Oh, that's good. Um, so I've kind of gone for like an in-between. I've sort of gone for more my chest colour to bring the colour up. Oh, and Naz uses this brush as well. Oh, it's a popular one. So, I'm quite pleased with this. I think it's gone on quite nice. Oh, I'm very impressed with you all using your Real Techniques stipple brush. Well done. Okay, I might, I'm just going to put a little bit more on because I want a little bit more coverage. And she told me it was going to be a buildable coverage. So, I'm just going to put a little bit more on the back of my hand. And now I'm going to use my brush because so many of you said that you use the brush, so I'm going to do that as well. I'm also just going to have a quick look in the mirror because it's one thing doing it in this camera and it's quite another <laughs> when I actually look in the mirror. 
so I'm going to try not to cover the camera so I'm just going to put a bit more on yeah it feels quite lightweight on my skin it feels quite nice do any of you use this foundation studio sculpt by Mac let me know if you do hi Donna Donna is one of the mums at the school who does always look fabulous in the morning. She's always got makeup on. I always look like a tramp. I've usually got some form of tracksuit on, no makeup. You're lucky. <laughs> You're lucky if I've even brushed my hair, to be honest. But the kids look all right. Ah, oh, hi, Sue. My mother-in-law is online. <laughs> so I'm bringing it down my neck. I'm bringing it onto my ears. Make sure you get in this bit around your nose because that's a bit of a telltale sign of foundation. Some people don't get right in this bit and then you can kind of see it. Always go across your lids. So if you've not got enough time to be putting eyeshadow and things on, then at least you've got a nice sort of clean, clean look across your lids and you can't see all the little veins and things that everyone has on their eyelids. So just really check that there's no lines, sort of no tide marks here. Make sure you go right underneath your chin. Ah, Naz uses the full coverage MAC foundation. See, that is what I would normally use. If, if anyone wants me to recap on anything that's just joined, just please just write a question. I will answer whatever... Uh, you want me to answer well almost everything right Charlene wears Estee Lauder double wear foundation I know that this is a bit of a Marmite thing like people usually either absolutely love this foundation or absolutely hate it um, it's completely up to you if you love it awesome I personally hate it but who am I my mother wears it and I can tell when she walks in the door and I just look at take one look at her and I say, have you got double wear on again? Um, and she's like, yes. No. You know, I don't know how many times I've bought her Mac and I don't know why. She just runs out of it and then can't be bothered to ask me. And then she goes to Estee Lauder and gets seduced by all the girls on the counter um, and buys double wear. But it can be a bit funny. If you're taking a photo, it tends to um, make you look like you're wearing a mask. It might look all right sort of in daytime to look at somebody next to you but if you take a photo of them it tends to reflect all the light away and you can look completely different colors hi lucy trying to try this for sure ah oh. um it's one of my brides lucy so is there anyone else that is like me and just gets up in the morning and just cannot be bothered to put makeup on like i've got so many millions of things to do that putting makeup on in the morning, if I've not got somewhere to be, like somewhere special to be, I just don't bother. So I walk around with not a scrap of makeup on my face, usually not even mascara. Um, and people always look at me like I'm ill or, oh, well, you're a bit tired. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm always tired, I'm a mum, but um, no, this is just my face, thanks. So, okay, Laura Mercier, I never know how to say that, Mercier, Laura Mercier. Uh, secret camouflage this is sc3 <laughs> rebecca have you got jack watching it hi jack he's my cousin um oh okay there are other people that that do the same as me so helen is also a makeup artist and she says she just doesn't have time either lots of oh okay i don't feel so bad now lots of people were saying that they just don't have time and okay I don't feel so bad so I'm just applying this with my finger not not your index finger because you'll press too hard and you'll drag the skin if you use this finger or this finger for your under eye concealer so I'm using this shade and I'm just going in I'm just gonna kind of press it into my massive bags under my eyes and wow look it looks like I've had sleep it's amazing <sighs> Okay, go put Austin to bed, Donna. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tony. Yeah, I had these nails done. Um, I go to a place called Beautiful Nails in Dartford and they did the chrome effect thing. And I got this colour because I thought Bo would like it and she did. She just went absolutely crazy. It's like a pinky purple. 
Um, Naz, uh, I've noticed a lot of makeup artists use a bit of oil on the stipple brush, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, this is an Instagram thing. There's this oil that's going around. I really think that that is just for um, either shoots or it's for Instagram makeup. I think um, a lot of people, if you actually were to put that oil on, you would find it so, so greasy on your skin. I really don't see the need to add this oil to your foundation. Your foundation is gonna be good enough. Like you need to buy the right foundation for you. If you're having to add an oil to it, then it's not the right foundation. You've not picked the right one. So you need to get one that's more of an oily foundation if that's what you're looking for. Um, I really, I, I feel like it's a gimmick um, and it's something that most people would probably spend a lot of money to buy it and then actually use it and think, my God, my face is so greasy my makeup isn't staying on it's just sliding off of my face I, I think it's more one of those that they just do for the Instagram pictures um, and it's not for you know the longevity of it of it wearing through the day and um, the concealer is Laura Mercier Laura Mercier I never know how to say that um, secret camouflage and this is SC3 hi Natalia hi Juliet Juliet is an amazing makeup artist um, are you up in the north, Juliet, or are you in the Midlands? I can't remember, but she's just incredible. She's a bri bridal makeup artist. Hi, Hannah. Um, okay, so I'm just patting this under my eyes to really brighten up. You know, us mums, we're always knackered. Uh, we never get enough sleep. We're always on the go, so concealer is our best friend, and I really genuinely think this is the best concealer I've ever used. I absolutely love it. I use it on all of my brides. Uh, Milton Keynes. Juliet's um, Leighton Buzzard near Milton Keynes. So if you're up that way, definitely give her a shout. She's incredible. That's Juliet Cunnington. Have a look on her page. <laughs> oh, you agree, Hannah? And also, I've noticed, Juliet always um, likes my pictures and I like hers because she's so, so good. But there are some makeup artists that are just like, they just won't do it. They're like, no, I'm the best. I'm not going to dare like anybody else. Whereas I feel like we should all encourage each other. We're all, you know, we're all mums. We're all working really blooming hard. Life is hard. Um, we need to give each other encouragement and build each other up. It's... It's hard for women, I think. Oh, and Helen. Yeah, agreed. I feel like we should we should help each other out as women. Okay, I've got this little cream um, blusher. I'm trying not to get the glare on it. This is, yeah, yeah, we all need to stick together, Julia. This is Stila. It's called Convertible Colour. And this is Petunia, the colour. It's like an, a pinky apricot. And again, with this finger, I'm just going to put a little bit of cream blush. You notice I've not put any powders on yet. Um, I'm just going to pop a little bit of cream blush on the apples of my cheeks. And this will instantly make me look um, like sort of fresh and healthy. Uh, so I like an apricot sort of colour because I've got quite an olivey skin. If you've got, um, if you're a beautiful English rose and you've got a lovely pale skin, you could go for more of a, a pale pink colour. Um, but I definitely like to have a little bit of apricot in my blushes. Hi, Rebecca Wade. Hi. I love seeing you all on here. There's 60 of us. Oh, we could have a party. If only it wasn't first thing in the morning, we could get some wine. Um, but yeah, tell me what you guys are all up to today. Instead of me just waffling on. There's Juliet and uh, Helen, are you working today or have you got a day off? I've got um <laughs> I've got a makeup to do on for a pregnancy shoot for um one of a friend of one of my brides that got married in Mykonos so I'm excited to do that. So you see where I'm oh, Helen's got bridal makeup trials. I'm just patting this on the apples of my cheeks. So if you do like a really silly thing and just like smile into the mirror it's the bit your apples are these bits that come forward um and that's where you just want to lightly pat this <laughs> Juliet's still in her PJ, pjs <laughs> well done Juliet good effort <laughs> 
Oh, and Helen's got a shoot this evening. Excellent. See, we're all working hard. Um, okay, so I think I'm ready now to put some powder on. So this has got a nice sheen on it. You see this foundation, you can still see my freckles, which is good. So it's like a medium coverage. It's covered the bits I want, but you can still see my own skin through it. Um, and then I've just put a little bit of concealer on and a little bit of cream blush. Oh, Sue, you're colouring your hair. I'm so desperate to colour my hair. That's probably what I should be doing now, actually. Um, my grey is horrific. There we go. I'm just going to make sure it's all blended nicely. <sighs> it's a PJ party. There's so many people still in their pyjamas. I feel like we need to be a bit more real on Facebook and Instagram because I sit there sometimes and I just feel like so useless as a person because I look at everybody else and I just think, God, you guys all seem to have it. Um, you, you all seem to like have it all under control and I, I feel like I don't. <laughs> um, Emma, I had to answer the door. What brush is that? That's just the stippling brush again. I just went back over and just made sure it was all blended. Wisdom highlights, yeah, that's right. The concealer was Laura Mercier, um, Secret Camouflage. This is the SC3. They give you two little colours in there so you can mix them. So one's a slightly warmer one. Actually, I'll show you what I do with the other. So I've used this one under my eyes and this lighter one, I just usually just put up here just to lift my eyebrows a bit. That's okay, Liz. It doesn't matter that you're not a mum and you're still in your PJs. Do you know what? Enjoy it. Enjoy this time. Kids are the most incredible thing on the planet. But I do wonder what I did with all my time before. Ah, oh, Ellen. She's going to Blue Water. She might treat herself to some makeup. I'm just going to... I've got something in my eye so I'm just gonna sort that out oh and I've just got a nice big blob of foundation on my leggings so that's awesome don't you hate that when you get a leaky eye oh friends just turned up with cake at Emma's house god I want to go there right I'm getting on to powder now I've realized that I'm waffling and I need to actually hurry up Ben Nye Bana this is banana powder. Banana is the colour, not the type of powder. So there are lots of different colours of it. Cameo and buff. Cameo and buff are the lighter shades. This is like a yellowy banana colour. Um, and that's what I use. So I'm just going to take a big brush. This is a, uh, what's it called? BK28 Jumbo Kabuki Fan. This is by uh, Crown Brushes. I love crown brushes. The um, the makeup show that I go to every year, IMATS, they have a big crown brushes stand and I'm like a kid in a sweet shop. I just buy so many from there. Um, and this is one that I bought from there this year. So I just pop it in a little pot like this. Get a load on the brush. And I'm just going to put that you always have to set your foundation so many people don't do it and then wonder why it comes off after an hour even if you only set it once like loose powder that you have on your dressing table when you get ready at home you must must do it i know that people want dewy look and i think oh if i put powder on then it's going to take away the dewiness it won't it will still shine through but you absolutely have to set your foundation um so you apply cream products first then you put your powder on and then you do powder products afterwards so do your your foundation your um concealer and your cream blush and then you can put your powder on hi everyone 64 of us now our oh, juliet loves crown brushes as well um even if you have very dry skin should you use powder yes you should um, don't use heavy ones you could go to go to Mac actually they do a really great range of powders um, they do one called blot powder which is really really sheer 
um, and that just kind of takes the shine off it's the one that I recommend to all my brides that they have with them like through their wedding day because they can just take a big brush do a little bit go down their t-zone and it just takes away the shine but it doesn't take down any of the the color any of the blush or anything it all stays exactly as it was but it just kind of takes so maybe for Carrie that might be you know if you've got dry skin that might be a really nice one for you to use um I'm using uh Lauren Brox I'm using the uh luxury powder banana powder by Ben Nye this is the one that Kim Kardashian's makeup artist uses. This shade is banana. Uh, I'm just going to pop a bit on my forehead. Does anyone else get a leaky eye? Is it not just the most annoying thing? Oh, God. And go across your lids. You see how it's like my sheen on my skin is still showing through but now I've like set it so it won't go anywhere. Hi everyone, hi Katie, hi Lauren. I've got a leak in my nose. Yeah, my nose is running right now. What is that about? I'm going to subtly, off camera, just sort my eye and my nose out. <laughs> okay, that's better. Hi, Olivia. So, uh, do you guys want me to just quickly recap on what I've done so far? Because a lot of you have just joined. Um, I've used... Uh, Studio Sculpt SPF 15 MAC Foundation and this is NC42. I used a Real Techniques sponge and I used the Real Techniques stipple brush to apply them. Okay, then I used Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage SC3 concealer for under my eyes. So I used the darker shade under my eyes, just pressed it in, and then I used the lighter shade. I just popped a bit up here on my brow bone to like lift my eyebrows up a bit. Then I used a Stila cream blush in Petunia, and I just dabbed that on the apples of my cheeks. Then I used Banana Powder by Ben Nye. To just set my foundation. Do I recommend any sort of powder bef uh, primer before foundation? I'm not a fan of primers to be honest. Um, I particularly hate the Smashbox one. If you get on with it, great, continue using it. But I used it once. Actually, it was when I was trying to fil film a tutorial with Rochelle, and we both put it on. We then went to put our full coverage foundation on. And the thing was like it was just sliding off our faces we've ha we then had to completely start again we had to wet wipe our faces and start again so i always just use a really good moisturizer either um i'll have to show you actually the moisturizer that i'm using at the moment i might post a picture of that later but i'm using a new moisturizer or i use the clarins beauty flash balm <clears throat> so it's not a primer it's like a moisturizer with some illuminating particles in it and it sort of smooths the skin a little bit so it's a little bit like a primer but it's not um yeah Juliet this is the same she doesn't use primers um she prefers foundation onto bare skin yeah I like to just put it onto like well moisturized skin I think that's so much better than a primer uh she, oh, Maxine's late but made it how do you look so good before the makeup I don't look good before the makeup at all <laughs> that's why I'm putting some on I realize I've been like slacking as a human so I need to just start um putting some normal day makeup on hence why I'm doing this video with all you guys uh right so powders on and now I'm going to do should I do contour I think I'll do contour next and a bit of right so this is this is just the way that I like to do it I use my C7 this is a studio fix powder by Mac 
um, and I use sort of a bigger brush just I don't know if it's just because I'm um, olivey sort of skin tone I need to just warm up like around because this bit of my head is so much darker than the rest of it I feel like I need to just make that slightly darker otherwise I look like my forehead is too big so I'm just going to put a little bit around like the edge of my face where the contour goes I'm not being this isn't contour this is just to warm up around my face so this is studio uh studio tech or studio fix studio fix in c7 is neck laura uses studio fix powder on her face as an all-over cover <clears throat> and that's how yeah that is good you could just use this you could just use um studio fix powder and just do a quick dusting all over pop a bit of mascara on and and that's you know you look good at that point like i sh i could just do that and then at least i'd look alive but i thought i'd do a proper daytime makeup this morning and obviously if i wasn't sitting here chatting to you guys this probably would take me five minutes um but it's nice to have a bit of a chat as well so do you see that's just kind of warmed up around my face maxine i will be doing highlighters i promise so next i'm going to take i haven't even used this brush yet this is the sculpting brush by real techniques and i'm going to use i bought a tiny little contour powder by nyx or nyx people call it nyx but i like nyx um, this is Toffee slash Caramel. And it's actually the, the Contour Pro Singles. but Because I, I didn't want to buy the whole palette. Because I've already got the whole palette in my kit. This is, this is what I want to use just in my daytime makeup kit that is just for me. So I'm going to put a bit of this on. Sometimes I press it into the brush like that first. Do this so you get that line. And just kind of. You want to be darker up here and then come about halfway and then kind of blend it a bit. So let's see if that's made a difference. That has slightly, you can see that bit's been brought in a little bit. Blending is the key with contour ladies we don't want stripy tiger faces so you can see that one is definitely more defined than this side okay Hi Lee. Easier with your cheekbones. <laughs> Maxine, you've got amazing cheekbones. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, I'm just going to press some in and I'm just going to go around this top bit. I think I've got a cold coming. A little bit bunged up. Just going to go around this top bit here. Just because I've got the most enormous forehead and the most enormous chin. So contouring you put where you want to like shrink things or push them back um so if you've got a little forehead then you absolutely do not put any contour on it because it will make it come down even further um that's that's just what contouring is so if you've got like a really wide jaw and you want to bring it in slightly then you can put a little bit like on your jaw just to define it around here if you've got a big chin just kind of do this and it kind of chops a little bit off of it just gonna check in the mirror check i'm not stripey no it's all good still got a leaky eye though uh, google the banana setting powder first one came up two pound reduced from nine <laughs> and three pound including person packaging bought two excellent well done top marks to Lauren <laughs> okay now so I've done 
contour. I did just that kind of warming, I suppose like a bronzer powder. And now I'm going to pop a bit of blusher on. So which one am I going to use? Okay, I've got again an apricotty kind of colour. This is called Style by MAC. It has got a little bit of shimmer in it. I quite like that on a blusher. Um, and then I'm going to take... Which brush? This is just, I don't even know what brush this is, but it's just a normal blusher brush. And I'm just going to pop a bit like that. And I'm going to put it on the apples of my cheeks where I put my cream blusher. So you can see my cream blusher is showing through a little bit. But I just want to enhance it with this. And do you know what? This layering technique is something that will keep your makeup lasting through the whole day. Um, that's one of the little tricks of the trade is to layer things. Ah, oh, look healthy. Yay. Seriously with this eye, I'm just going to use my t-shirt. Okay, next I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter on, Maxine. Hi, Sarah. Sarah Shepherd. hi. Uh, okay, so I'm going to use Global Glow Mineralized Skin Finish. The lighter one, so this is really if you're my colour or darker. Anyone lighter than me, um, you need to be getting the soft and gentle one. Or you can use your Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's a, they do a palette of four, which you will have seen me using before. Um, it's called That Glow, which is just beautiful, but that's in my kit. And the whole point is I don't want to be going into my kit to get any of this stuff. So I've got just a highlighter for me. Uh, Maxine just bought the face and body foundation for a day foundation. I love that foundation. I so nearly bought it yesterday, um, but I just wanted to try something that I'd never tried before. That's why I went for the studio sculpt rather than the face and body but I actually was I had face and body in my kit for like the first five years that I was doing um weddings and I absolutely love it it's really really nice uh right so yeah back to this is global glow Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow is amazing for highlight and contour too uh, Juliet says that yes I do like that I really do I have that um, it's about £50 though, which is quite expensive and it's only, I find, that particular one is only good for um, quite light skin. On me, did not show up even a little bit. Um, so, oh, thanks Lee, that's really kind of you. Um, it didn't show up at all on me. So yeah, great if you're a lighter skin tone and you want those, like the highlighter and bronze in one little pack, then yeah, do go and get the Film Star Bronze by... Charlotte Tilbury is good and you know what they've just opened it up in John Lewis now that she's got a massive big counter as you walk in in blue water so uh, Charlotte Tilbury is on one side and then they've got a brand new Mac as well on the other side I was like I was in heaven yesterday uh, Juliet said she's bought out dark one too now that's good okay so I could possibly could use the dark one so highlighter I'm just gonna pop this on the top of my cheekbones and on the, my brow bone and I'm doing this before I've put my eyebrows on just so I can kind of get around this bit here as well so it gives you that nice glow this is quite a subtle glow but I absolutely love these ones and then you can, do not, please don't put it here. I hate it when you see all the these Instagram people. Um, hi Sophie. Juliet, actually, do you feel this as well? They put highlighter like all down here and it makes them look like they've got snot just coming out of their nose. I don't know why they do it. And they put a big bit right on the tip of their nose, which immediately makes their nose look enormous. Olivia, I almost passed out when I went in there and saw that. I literally didn't know where to look first. Yes, I felt the same. But I do like to just take a tiny bit and just put it just on my bridge of my nose here. Just a tiny bit because it actually gives you a nice bit of definition there. And just as you're like turning your face, you see so you've got this nice sheen here 
and round and then you've got a little bit of sheen here yeah exactly so if you want to make your lips look bigger you can just fluff a bit just on the top of your cupid's bow but do not take it up here it looks awful absolutely awful it's probably my my biggest makeup hate actually um because you know like when you see kids dodgy looking kids at school and they look like they've just got those candlestick snot coming out their nose i feel like that's what all these people look like and they're just like they're doing all their poses into the camera and i'm thinking you just look like you need a tissue um, I'm just going to now take my, my powder brush and just kind of blend it all in just to make sure there's no lines or anything. Um, Maxine, I would buy the more expensive one if I were you just to make sure. I'm sure that the other girl's one is fine but just to make sure it is actually Ben Nye Banana Powder because there are a lot of people that are copying it and putting it in those bottles and it's not actually um it's not actually banana powder it's not the real stuff okay now you know that i normally love my anastasia dip brow pomade which is a little pot of like waxy gel stuff that i put on my eyebrows that takes a lot of concentration i absolutely love the effect that it gives but for a quick daytime makeup, I'm going back to my trusty old Rimmel eyebrow pencil, which is just amazing. It's got a little brush on it. I think it's like two quid or something. This is the dark, uh, this is the black brown. So let's, let's show you how to do these eyebrows. So I've got no eyebrows at all. They're rubbish. I have got a leaky eye though, which is so annoying. Right, so you've obviously got a bit of foundation in your eyebrows to so just go through with this and kind of go back and forth like this it will get all of your um foundation out of your eyebrows hi sarah she's got all the girls in the office <laughs> watching and you're taking notes ah oh, love you right so i'm just going through my eyebrows just making sure there's no foundation stuck in them and by the way, this Facebook Live, I can like post it later so you can all watch it from the beginning. So if there's anything um, that you've missed or whatever, just, just watch it back and then you can like scroll and get to particular bits. Um, Juliet's giving some amazing little tips. So do read through the comments because she's given um, some really good alternatives of like cheaper products. And I 100% trust her. She's incredible. Okay, these eyebrows. I need to come back. I need to do it so you can see the light. Right, I'm going to draw a line underneath like this and a line slightly above. Now, you'll notice I've not gone to this bit here. We don't want to be drawing a square in at this point. I'm leaving like, what is that? I'm not very good with measurements. It's probably like three mil from the start of my hair, eyebrow hair, and then I'm drawing from there onwards. And then I have to just shut up for this point because I just need to be able to draw this on right. So with this bit, you just have to go for it. And then just join up. And like draw it in like this. Now this is where you want your gradient. Right, you want the gradient. You want that kind of um, like blurred out effect so you don't have that um, horrible line so you take the other end you've got some color in your eyebrows so you just now bring this forward to where your own natural eyebrow starts do you see so it's like it's a nice natural look here and it makes them look slightly less fake Eloisa Matthews has just joined. Hi Eloisa, I went to school with Eloisa. Now, do you remember when we were like 14, 15 in our DT lesson 
uh, design and technology we used to sit there well I did Eloisa actually used to do some work I didn't I used to sit there it was a Friday afternoon and I knew that I was gonna go and meet my boyfriend at the time so I would sit there with my makeup out on the desk and I would just sit there putting all my makeup on in my DT lesson <laughs> I wonder if she remembers that oh hang on okay ah uh, Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eyebrow now. So we draw the line underneath, slightly over, and then you do like the tail bit, and then you do the blend. Eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins. Okay, that's pretty straight and you see I kind of draw against the grain when I'm trying to fill in like the thicker part of the eyebrow I just find it works better so it goes all like crazy and then you can just put it back put all the hairs back where they're meant to be um, and now I'm just gonna do that little blend See, so it just gradients this in a bit so you don't get that horrible line. Let's just do this one slightly thicker. Oh no, Olivia had a bad eyebrow day yesterday and ended up doing them three times. Do you know what? I don't, I just haven't got the patience to be able to take makeup off and start again. I just have to go with it. Just like own the look. Like, yes, I wanted to have massive eyebrows today, thank you. Um, it's probably not. <laughs> Hi, Glenn. <laughs> My father in law's just joined. Hi, Lauren. You inspired me to follow my passion for makeup, Kirsty, so thank you. Oh, bless you, that's so sweet. That makes me feel really happy when people say stuff like that. Now, shall I bother doing any eyes? Normally at this point, I would just put some mascara on, a bit of lip gloss, and I'm gone. But I'm thinking, do you guys want to see a little bit of eyeshadow? I will definitely will do a liquid black eye eyeline. So maybe I'll just do that. I actually bought two yesterday. These are both by Rimmel. So I've got one, it's called Scandal Eyes. And that is, can you see that? It's like a pen. Please do eyeshadow, okay. And then this one is 24 hour wear color precise eyeliner. It's again a pen, it's got a slightly longer nib bit. Okay, let me do a little bit of eyeshadow for you. I've got my Naked palette, Urban Decay. This is the one with like the velvety thing. Emma Jane requested a full eye, oh goodness me. There we go. So I'm going to use this shade, which is called Buck. B-U-C-K, not what that probably just sounded like. Okay. Now, I've already put a bit of highlighter. When I did my highlight here, my Global Glow by MAC, I popped a bit up on my brow bone. So I don't need to worry about putting any highlighter up here for now. I'm going to use my real techniques brush but the name has rubbed off of it but it's the fluffy eyeshadow brush and i'm gonna just put some in buck <laughs> and right loaded brush outer corner of the eye don't start in the inner corner you will have <laughs> you will have too much in here and it will make you look a bit heavy eyed I'm slightly worried about the fact that this eye is still leaking because as many of you know it means that you can't actually put eyeshadow on that bit so I'm just going to pat that a little bit right loaded brush if you open your eye like this I mean obviously you have to open your eye to be able to do your eye shadow but instead of going like this don't do it like that because you won't be able to get your crease right if you open it slightly and find that natural shadow that you've got 
on your crease then just follow that line oh donna missed the brows i used the rimmel eyebrow pencil donna you can inspect them later at school pickup well i've got lots of lovely blue thumbs up like going all the way across the thing it's really sweet so i'm going to just do a really subtle um, eyeshadow. I'm not going to go mental today and do like 15 different colours. I'm going to do something very easy. So I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to do a black line. The key to eyeshadow is blending. Hi Hayley! Oh, I'm loving seeing you all. This is amazing. I'm going to just take a fluffy sh um, eyeshadow brush now just with nothing on it just to go over and just blend that all in. There we go. Ah, my husband. Hello, husband. Why aren't you working? What are you doing? I thought you I thought you were shooting. Uh, hang on, let me use my memory now. What is he shooting? Some, I want to say glasses. Give me a thumbs up if I'm right. So loaded brush into the... Hi, husband. <laughs> um, loaded brush into the outer corner and just like small circular motion bringing it up so I'm just kind of pulling the colour along my natural crease and then kind of just with what's left coming up by my eyebrow can you see that if I come really close and I'm just going to add a little bit more Maxine loves the Bobbi Brown long wear eyeshadow stick. Yeah, I like those as well. They are good. I just always really love a powder eyeshadow. I just find them so much easier to blend. <clears throat> okay. As you can see. And then I'm just going to take this one. Oh, my husband apparently also... <laughs> loves the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick. That's good to know. Just gonna add a little bit more because I just need it slightly darker here. There we go. Simple eyeshadow. I literally used one colour, and that is Buck B U C K, which is this uh, this one from the Naked Urban Decay palette. This is a really nice one. It's got some lovely colours. It's got some shimmery ones. Got some nice golds and like khakis. And this is a good palette to get. It's nice. <laughs> Great taste, Mr. Kirsty. Okay, so which one should we go for out of these two? I think I'm going to go for the 24 hour. 24 hour precise eyeliner. With the longer nib on it. Hi, Kate. Kate is my next door neighbour but one and she's saying a cheeky hello while she's at work so let's hope that none of your work colleagues are on here Kate. Now with your eyeliner you want to kind of with these pen sort of ones you want to kind of lay it across and then kind of do your nice flick. Hannah go, go and grab your son he's empty in the kitchen cupboard. Oh dear. Right, I'm going to start here and just look down into your mirror and then you'll, be, you'll get your eye at the right angle. So many people tell me that they have a problem with doing eyeliner. So this is a really easy way of doing it. Using one of these pens, put your mirror like under your chin and look down into it. And you're just pressing it. So I'm not drawing like this, because you'll go all over the place. I'm using it like this, and I'm kind of pressing it on to my eye. I'm just doing little strokes. Now with eyeliner, you kind of think, oh, I'm going to do a nice thin flick. Halfway through... The eyeliner gods might decide that you're not going to do a thin flick. You're going to do a nice big dramatic Adele eyeliner. Just go with it. Don't be taking your makeup off and starting again. It's No one's got time for that. So I've gone halfway. And now I'm going to start my flick. So I'm just drawing a little bit. And then I'm going to 
come from the corner of my eye and just get that line and then go for it. See? I feel like I can feel you all holding your breath. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> I honestly think this is probably the easiest way of doing the eyeliner with one of these pen things. The only problem with them is that they tend to dry out quite quickly. But with this Rimmel one, I think it was it was only a couple of quid. So it doesn't really matter if you have to buy one every month. It's not a major issue. There we go. Have I just turned blue? Oh, Juliet said yes, I've just turned blue. Oh, because <laughs> she's holding her breath. Okay, there we go, eyeliner. So I've managed to do quite a thin line. Uh, Maxine, go to one of the big beauty companies if you're worried that they're fake sellers selling the banana powders. Try like Beauty Bay or one of those, one of those big beauty companies. If you get it from an actual company, it should be fine. <laughs> um, so there you go you can see the difference that eyeliner makes because um, obviously this one has got it so I'm going to do this eye now if this eye decides it wants to go thick then we might have to top up this one just be prepared so again pressing it see it's, it dries up a bit so you have to put the lid back on give it a little shake okay Seriously, this eye is driving me mad. It just keeps watering. Okay. So, halfway along. Now we're going to do the flick. You can if you want. Uh, Donna got the buff powder on Amazon. Amazon. Think it's genuine. Excellent. Hi, Amelia. How's the bump? Tell me how your bump is. I declare I'm really I'm not doing well with this talking and doing eyeliner <laughs> okay I'm going to try and just show you this you can do this as well you can like hold your eye and then draw that line that, like that I had that on my wedding day if you remember it drove me mad yeah I remember that um Maxine you had a leaky eye didn't you uh right hang on let me do this and then I'll answer Kirsty's question about um, not having right eye shape to do flicks. Hang on. Just filling it in. Sorry, I really can't talk and do this. Okay. Ah, oh, thanks, Charlie. I'm having to do that because I've got a weird like thing holding my phone and I can't see the top. Hang on, let me see if I if I do this, I might be able to see it. Ah! Oh god. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's try not. Shauna said that. Oh good god. Look, why did I move it? Okay, don't touch the camera again, Kirsty. That was really bad. Oh, okay. Right, so eyeliner seems to have gone okay today. It doesn't always go okay, but today is it's all right. So if you've got um, the type of eyes where you feel like you can't wear eyeliner, I'm sure that you can. So hooded eyes. If you've got slightly hooded eyes, then you would probably be better off to use either a coal pencil and then use a brush like this, like a fluffy, um, like angled brush. So you would put, just go really like messily along your lash line and then with your coal black eyeliner. So it's a pen, a coal is a pencil. 
and then you would take this and you would just smudge across and you get this lovely like soft smoky eyeliner effect that would be how you would do it if you say had hooded eyes um if you've got downward sloping eyes then don't do the big flick just do a little flick you have to really just practice with your own eyes um but Kirsty Morgan you definitely have got eyes that can have a flick I 100% think that ah uh, thank you you're all leaving such lovely comments I'm not going to bother doing eyeliner underneath my eyes today because I've got a leaky eye going on so now I'm going to use mascara I'm going to use voluminous times five you all know that I love this by L'Oreal and I'm going to put a million coats on so here goes and I'm gonna pour a really stupid face while I do it. So you can kind of wiggle the brush as well and like roll it at the root. Naz uses a black eyeshadow with a small angle brush for work instead of liquid liner. I definitely would agree with that to just use either an eye a black eyeshadow or a black coal pencil um, smudged out for just every morning if you're just going to work because if you're trying to do a liquid eyeliner and it all goes horribly wrong then that can make you late for work whereas if you just smudge a bit of eyeshadow across it gives you a lovely effect um, but hopefully it shouldn't make you late for work. Always have wet wipes or little cotton buds handy for any little bits that you want to just touch up as you're going. While I've got you all here, does anyone have any kind of tip for getting your eye to stop watering? Uh, who I don't know who said that because it's just gone, but Kirsty, my lashes from Emma's wedding last week lasted for four days. That's awesome. Um, is it bad to admit that I didn't wash my eyes all that time? No, it's fine. Do it. I'm so glad that you got four days out of them. That's so good. <sighs> oh, Katie, you missed the eyeshadow. I'm going to post this up later so you'll be able to like go through and re-watch it and like fast forward all of my waffling and get to the bit that you want to, to watch. So don't worry at all if anyone's missed anything. How have I managed that? I got a bit of mascara on my lip. So this might be the new me, you guys. I might actually decide to put makeup on every single morning just for no reason other than I need to start looking like I've made half an effort rather than walking around with not a scrap on. I'm sure the mums at school tomorrow will be like, uh, where's your makeup, Kirst? <laughs> I can't promise I'll do it before the school run though. In fact, tomorrow I won't have it on because I've got a massive wedding to do. Um, the beautiful Michelle. I'm excited to do her wedding. Right, if you get a clumpy bit like that, poke the other one and then you have a matching pair. <laughs> Thanks, Sue. <laughs> uh, if you get a bit of clumpy bit on your mascara just use one of these and just kind of roll it through like this and it will unclump it <laughs> yeah getting both watering i'll poke myself in the eye with both eyes yeah that's a good idea um kirsty can you do an evening look live on facebook so i can see you do a smoke well as some of you might have seen i got um I got into the finals for the uh, Wedding Industry Awards uh, Best Ter uh, best Makeup Artist for London and South East. Um, I'm very excited about it. It's my third year running. The first year that I did it, I got highly commended, which I was just so over the moon about. Um, and I'm really, I'm desperate to win. I really, really would love to win. But I'm going with Rochelle to the ceremony on the 21st of November. So I'm thinking if Sue, you're online, if it's a Monday, 
if you could have the kids for me then me and Rochelle would quite like to do our makeup look like really ultra glamorous makeup look live on Facebook for you guys and then go to the awards after so I thought that might be quite a fun thing to do um, so I will definitely be doing like a, a, a smoky but also really glittery makeup on the 21st of November okay there we go mascara I haven't bothered to curl my lashes or anything because yeah if, if I wasn't doing this chatting to you guys as I said this would probably take me maybe seven minutes to do all of this if I was just concentrating on what I was actually doing um Donna's gonna re-watch the bits she missed with Eldon he'll love it oh I love Eldon oh and Sue said she can babysit excellent so I can definitely do that Hi Kirsty, it's Emma Jane and Tamilla here from Sarah's Work. Makeup looks fab. Just wondering what brushes uh, you would recommend. Thanks. Um, well, I've got... I've, how many brushes have I used? Let's see. I've not used that many actually because I was trying to use as few as possible so that you guys wouldn't have to buy loads. These are the brushes that I've used on my makeup today. Okay. Most of them are real techniques. Uh, so this is an eyeshadow blender brush by Real Techniques, so you can get that in Boots. <gasps> Boots have got a three for two offer on all of their Real Techniques brushes at the moment. As soon as this is over, run to Boots and buy them. Um, because that is just so, like I went and bought a load yesterday, not that I need any more brushes, but I can't help. Um, I can't help it. Yeah, so Real Techniques. This one is Real Techniques, it's the sculpting brush. And this is the stipple brush. So I use both of those. This is for contour. This is for like blending your foundation in. Um, I also use this one, which is a real techniques brush. I'm sorry, but the name's rubbed off of it, but it's got those like white tips again. Um, and I use this for my highlighter. Uh, and a bit of contour, I think I use that as well. That's a blusher brush. I don't know what it is, but it's just a normal blusher brush. So a blusher brush is slightly smaller than a powder brush, and it's a bit long. It like it's it's slimmer, um, but it's got longer bristles. That's the difference between a powder brush and a blusher brush. I use this, which is again I don't know which one that is from. Hang on, that might be a. Cr oh no, it's a salon services brush. It's just a fluffy, but you can get those in boots. You can get real techniques to do those. And then this is a crown brush, which is just amazing my favorite powder brush ever um yeah so i use i only use how many is that one two three four five six seven seven brushes that's all you need um now let's do some lips i'm going to use nyx natural lip liner i've put foundation on my lips which is a really good base for your lipstick or lip gloss so this is a nice nude color Hi Hayley, Hayley is my gorgeous client that um, had that beautiful like glitter eyes a couple of weeks in a row, I love doing that on her, she's got just the perfect eyes for it. Right, so I'm doing the line but then I'm kind of bringing it up slightly. I do like a lip liner. I don't tend to put my own lipstick on without putting a lip liner on first. I don't know why, I just... I suppose because I like to draw the lip liner on slightly bigger than... Cause the actual colour on my lips, it's kind of patchy. Um, and it tends to be sort of slightly smaller than my actual lip size. So I sort of have to put the lip liner on to just fill it in. Oh, leave all, spent a fortune on brushes. It's so easy to do. Oh. Now, NYX in Blue Water um, is just the most amazing make makeup counter. I absolutely love it. 
I think I own every single colour lip gloss that they do. And they do all different types. They do these extreme shines, they do matte, they do um, butter glosses, which are really gorgeous. Um, if you want just a really nice sort of pinky nude, just a nice gloss, then get the creme brulee butter gloss. I use that a lot on my brides. Um, it's just so beautiful. I also really like um, the matte look as well. You know, like that Kylie... Oh, I hate Kylie Jenner, but I do quite like her makeup sometimes. Um, and she does that really matte lip look, which I actually really, really love. So I bought a load of new ones yesterday. Just, I've actually got all of these in my kit, but I wanted to have them in my own kit. A good way as well to tell what kind of colour you want to put on your lips is to hold them like this. And kind of just go like this and then you can see what they're going to look like and you can make a choice based on the rest of your makeup I'm gonna go for a paler um, this is what is this soft matte lip cream in Athens by NYX uh, Juliet loves the Revlon color burst lip butters oh very nice I've not used those so I'm gonna hit this I always start like I like a bit of an ombre effect with my lips so I always start in like a first middle bit here and then kind of blend and pat I find with these matte ones it's quite good to kind of pat them into the lips So I don't really want it to look like I've got lipstick on particularly, I just want it to be a really nice natural nude sort of colour. There we go. I look like a human, yay! Oh, I'm still leaking, oh so annoying. So then just have a really good look at your face and just see if any bits need blending. I mean, it's just a brush with nothing on it. I'm just going to blend because this stupid eye has been leaking. Oh, and I just need to blend in my eye there a bit because you see I've got a little crease there. So I'm just going to blend that out a bit. And this side. And this bit. Okay, now I'm actually just going to answer any of your questions because my makeup is done. Um, I'm getting a bit hot from this light that's like um, on me at the moment so I'm just going to hold this so I can actually see what you're asking me okay uh, Donna would you recommend Kiko makeup I love Kiko makeup their eye stuff is just amazing they do these cream crush eyeshadows which are so so sparkly and I use them a lot on my brides um, so yeah absolutely and also their lip glosses I haven't tried their foundations or their powders um, because I always go for MAC um, foundations and powders uh, or Ben Nye powders but you know have a go try them they're not that expensive so you can there is a little rumor and this is just a rumor I'm not confirming it if anyone knows for definite whether it is or not then please say I have heard on the grapevine that Kiko is made in the same place as the MAC products so who knows they could actually be MAC products in Kiko bottles I don't know I don't know that for definite that's just a little something I've heard um, I could be completely wrong um, Marlene sorry I missed the beginning makeup primer do I recommend I don't really recommend makeup primers I think you're better off to just um, use a good moisturizer uh, exfoliate your skin make sure that you exfoliate every single day so that you've got nice fresh skin and use a good moisturizer you don't need to be using a primer unless you really love one and you found one that you love then great keep what keep using it but if you haven't just get a good moisturizer um, what do you recommend for undry dark circles Pauline um, well concealer wise I use the Laura Mercier Mercier um, secret camouflage which is this stuff. Oh, Sophie Marie has heard that too, Sarah. Excellent. This one for under the eyes. Absolutely love it. And I went there yesterday and although I was a bit annoyed because the girl in John Lewis couldn't be bothered to serve me, so I actually ended up just walking off and not um, buying anything. 
because I'm a bit I'm a bit like that if people don't give me customer service then I just don't I won't give them my money um what's I saying yeah so I was in Laura Mercier and I was I, I had a look at their secret camouflages they do like 10 different colors it's amazing they've got an amazing color range so go in there and when you buy it and then just see which one is going to be the best for you there's so many different colors um Donna is I'm using their new skin tone foundation at the moment and like it oh is that in Kiko excellent yeah I, I do I absolutely love Kiko and go into Kiko and see Beth Beth is incredible. She, I mean, the makeup this girl puts on is just beautiful. Um, so, yeah, go and have a little chat with her. Tell her that you've seen me or, like, you know me because uh, she's always, like, commenting on my stuff and she's really such a sweet girl and she really knows her stuff with makeup. Uh, Lee met her too yesterday, yesterday in John Lewis. Ah, uh, Let me just scroll through and see if I've missed any questions. When the tear ducts are aggravated, it makes your eyes water and nose run. Yeah, so if like you get a bit of foundation in your eye or a little bit of powder or something, I just wish that there was some way that you could stop it, but you can't. Maxine, can you move next door, please? <laughs> well, you only live 20 minutes down the road from me. Let's just see. I'm just scrolling through to see if I've missed any questions. Uh, Helen loves how many girls are at work whilst watching this. Yes, I love that too. <laughs> ah, this is so nice. Um, Gemma, what eyeshadow palette would you recommend for a total novice? Okay, I have used today the um, oh, the Naked Urban Decay. Naked um, Urban Decay, they do about, I think it's four or five different palettes now, all different colours. These are really, really good. They can be quite expensive, but they do have a lot of colours in them. Um, so you can just buy like one palette and you'll get a good range of colours in there. The other one, which I just think is the best palette I've ever used, it's called Full Exposure by Smashbox. You can buy that in Boots. I think it's about, I think it's like £36 or something. Oh, just go and buy it. It's the most incredible palette. It's all shimmers and then all mattes of the same. So you've got a brown, like a warm tone end going from dark to light. And then it goes into a cool tone. Like you could just use that forever. It's, you could do your daytime looks with the warmer, more nudie sort of browns. And then you could do a smoky dark eye with the like gunmetal greys and the blacks that they've got in there. So that's Smashbox, Full Exposure. You can get it in Boots. That is a really, really great, easy to use eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadows really stay on very, very well. Um, Juliet says Collection Nudes eyeshadow palette is great for a novice and only three ninety nine. Excellent. That sounds really good. Um, Charlene's, yes, I'm definitely going to post this video to my page so that people can watch it later on so that you can just like scroll through and get to the specific bit that you want rather than listening to all of my waffle. Um, I get that I do go on a bit. Um, does anyone want to ask me any other questions? Please do so now. Otherwise, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea and then I'm going to do my emails. So I promise you, all of you that are waiting for emails and messages to be answered, um, I will be getting onto that now. Um, and yeah, so Gemma says fab, thank you. I also would just like to just quickly mention something. Um, I'm going to try and do this. My eyes leaking. I'm going to try not to um, cry at this point. I would just like to dedicate this to uh, Catherine, one of my brides, who sadly passed away at the beginning of the week. Um, I'm devastated. I'm devastated for her family. I just think it's awful. She was my age. She had two beautiful little children. I It's really affected me. Um, you know, I only met her a handful of times, maybe eight or nine times. Um, but as my, as my other makeup artist friends will know, you doing someone's makeup is quite an intimate thing and I genuinely care about everyone that I do their makeup and I I get involved and uh, you know you you tend to tell me all your secrets which is great and we have a really good chat and um 
I really love I love my job for that because it's not just makeup there's a bit of counseling involved and I you know you become friendly with people and it's it's intimate like I'm touching people's faces and I'm looking like deep into their eyes you know it's quite a personal thing so although I didn't know her like one of her friends or her family members who were all just so sweet um I do feel like I had a little bit of a connection with her and it has devastated me so I would just like to dedicate this to her and I'm thinking about her constantly at the moment um, but yeah I just wanted to say that and I feel like we all need to um, like really encourage each other as women we need to you know help each other out and um, you know be there for each other and and support each other and just yeah, like let's not put other women down and you know be jealous. But let's try and let's try and be a bit more positive and a bit more supportive than that. I think. Anyway, I was waffling on again, and I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Daytime makeup look very easy, and I will promise, I will pledge to try and put some makeup on every single morning. <gasps> Katie, my sister-in-law from Australia, hi. She is also a makeup artist, she's amazing. Um, we miss you, Katie, and we miss little Felix. I just saw a picture of him on the beach yesterday. He's the cutest little thing. Um, yeah, we desperately miss you guys. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so daytime makeup look, I'm gonna try and just do this every morning. It should only take me five minutes and I will start to look like a human. So if you see me in blue water, or at Asda, then hopefully I will look like this and not how I started the video. I hope you all have a really lovely day. Um, I'm off to make a cup of tea and do some emails before I have to pick Bruno up from preschool. So love you all lots. Thank you so much for watching. I'll post this later so you can just scroll through to the bits that you want to watch. Um, and yeah, have a great day everyone. Take care, bye.